And because of that, it is important, or I would recommend to get, if you want to get this book, to get the third edition, so that you have this extra information before the book even starts. And then... Hello, friends of Paperbound Knowledge Transfer. Welcome to another video, another book review on my channel. This time I'm going to continue the book review series on books about the Falklands War. And this book holds a special place in my heart because it is the first book that I read about the Falklands War. So it started me off on this entire journey up until today. And that book is 100 Days, the Memoirs of the Falklands Battle Group Commander Admiral Sandy Woodward with Patrick Robinson. This book is one of the most well-known, I think, books about the Falklands War. It tells us a story of that war through the eyes of the commander of the naval battle group, Admiral Sandy Woodward. It also is, and that is going to become interesting and important in a little while, one of the three books written by the commanders on the scene at the beginning of the conflict. Michael Clapp, the commander of the amphibious task force, Jeremy Moore, the commander of three commando brigade, and Admiral Sandy Woodward, the commander of the Naval Battle Group. For that reason, it is also important, or connected with that, it is also important that I have the third edition of this book in my hands, and I'm going to review the third edition of this book today. I'm going to tell you why that is important in a moment. But first, let me mention that this video, like all my videos, is made up of different chapters, which you will find in the description below and in the timeline under the video. So now let us have a closer look at the book in question. Let us start by talking about the structure and the content of the book. And unusually, I would like to start by talking about the preface chapters a bit more in detail, because those three preface chapters one for each edition, are the reason why I said it is important that I have the third edition in my hand. Because in the last two preface chapters for the second and third edition, Admiral Woodward addresses a controversy that existed between the three senior task force commanders on the spot in the Falklands. My clap, Jeremy Moore, and himself, you know, himself, Admiral Sandy Woodward. And apparently, during the war, there was quite a bit of animosity between the three that he, Admiral Sandy Woodward, was not aware of up until more than 10 years after the war. Which is why he only addresses this problem in the second uh, preface and then in the third preface a bit more. Which I think is totally interesting from several points of view, because if you read the other books, uh, Mike Clapp's uh, Amphibious Assault and Jeremy Moore's Snow Picnic, they, they hint a bit at this, and maybe they've talked more about this in other forums so that he heard of it, and he read about it in their books, and so he was uh, a bit taken aback because he had, noticed, had not noticed those problems at the time. And I think this entire story and controversy and what he has to say and that he didn't notice it right away, apparently, as, as far as he says, is totally interesting from a yeah, human perspective of interacting with other people that you don't see, from a military leadership perspective, how you should organize that, you know, with three commanders in the field, not a very clear um, command structure at the point uh, of contact. And uh, yeah, how important good military communications gear and, and uh, having yeah, known each other, maybe having trained together, maybe being together in one spot so you can talk about stuff like Jeremy Moore and uh, my, my clap could do how important all of those things are. I think this is a very interesting story on which I will do a video in the future. And because of that, it is important, or I would recommend to get, if you want to get this book, to get the third edition, so that you have this extra information before the book even starts. And then, of course, I think he did some uh, changes in the later chapters as well on information that became available or was able to be disclosed, for example, on SAS uh, operations and so on. Looking at the entire content of the book, the book is not a history of the entire um, Falklands War, but rather it is a book through 
of showing us the Falklands War through the eyes of Admiral Sandy Woodward. So it is a more naval view of things. It is what he um, thought about, it is what concerned him, what he saw, what were things that were important to him and to his, um, his command, to his ships. And so we get more anecdotes from the naval side, like for example, I think it was the captain of HMS Brilliant, not, not really kidnapping, but quite, you know, a bit kidnapping some civil technicians uh, who then had to work on his um, AA launches, AA missile launches, um, practically under fire in uh, the Falkland Sound or in San Carlos Water. So quite interesting. The structure of the book is a bit more like a TV series than a normal history book because the book starts, or the real meat of the book, the 18 chapters, starts with a cliffhanger episode of sorts because the first chapter is on the sinking of the HMS Sheffield. So we are catapulted right into the real meat and one of the most interesting and um, well-known episodes of the Falklands War right away in the first chapter. And then after that, the next chapter, the second chapter, is about his youth, his uh, naval career, career, sorry, up to this point where he started being the battle group commander. And after that, we get a chronological account of what he experienced in the Falklands War from his naval perspective. For example, in chapter 15, we get uh, a lot of information surrounding the period, the time period, and um, what happened and whatever else during the loss or leading up to and after the loss of HMS Coventry. Looking at how the book looks in general, it is a normal paperback book, the one that I have. There are, I think, very few photographs in the middle, not a lot, uh, and one or two maps, so nothing to write home about. And now for the part of the review in which I talk about what I liked and I disliked about the book. So a little bit of discussion, pros and cons. I didn't really dislike much about this book. Maybe there could have been a few more photographs, maybe a few more maps that would have been nice, but um, yeah, that's a small point. I like that it is um, well written in my mind. It is easily understandable in my mind. And I also like to hear from Woodward what he thinks about leadership and uh, yeah, read what him concerns him during the entire conflict and what was his motivation, what were the things that drove him to do the or take the decisions that he did take because he was also criticized quite a bit for some of those. And as I already said, I really like the preface chapters, the two preface chapters, which show um, an evolution evolution of the story of that controversy between him and the two other task force commanders. And now for my personal final verdict on this book. In my view, this is an easy to read and easy to digest personal account of the naval side of the Falklands War with an interesting personal touch by Admiral Sandy Woodward. For students of the Falklands War and the readers of other personal accounts of it, the preface chapters hold some special interest. In all, I can absolutely recommend buying and reading this book to anyone interested in the Falklands War. And now for my reading recommendations on books about the Falklands War in the same kind of vein. And I've already mentioned two books that I have to mention now, and those are Amphibious Assault Falklands by Michael Clapp and Ewan Southby Taylor. Michael Clapp was the Amphibious Task Force Commander, so he and tells the story of the Falklands War through his eyes. The second one is No Picnic by Julian Thompson, and he was the commander of Three Command Brigade, and he then tells the story of the second, uh, the second one, the Falklands War, sorry. Um, through his eyes again. Also a very interesting book. And then the last one is a book by Max Hastings or Max Hastings, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, German English you know, uh, and Simon Jenkins, the book The Battle for the Falklands, which is a more general account of everything that happened in the Falklands War, also quite interesting uh, to read and well written. I have not reviewed, I think, any of them yet, but I will in the future and then you will find links to them in the description below or maybe in an info box here or at the end of the video or, of course, 
on my channel. So those were my reading recommendations. That was my opinion on this book. Maybe you have a totally different opinion. Maybe you have much better reading recommendations. If so, please put them in the comments below. I will be very happy about that and very grateful. Up until then, I wish you the best of days. Have fun reading. Goodbye.